Well, the Bricktown Comedy Club is welcoming an absolute comedic legend all weekend long, and we are so pleased to have him right here with us now. Ari Spears is joining us. What's going on, man? How you doing, brother? How you doing? Good, good, good. Now, I've been following your comedy for decades now. So from the big screen, uh, so many comedic moments, so many impersonations, you've done it all. But nowadays, it's all digital, and a lot of times, a lot of moments happen on social media. How are you able to navigate today's landscape of comedy? Uh, I think you kind of have to do a little bit of both, you know, uh, you know, I'm still old school in my ways. So, you know, I always like the old school personal touch of like being in studio, uh, doing things the old way. But at the yeah. same time, you got to adapt to these new ways. Oh, for sure. Now, speaking of the old ways, I love your audience engagement and you're not afraid to go toe to toe with somebody. If they answer the question one way, if they're short, if they're long, uh, a lot of great comedic moments happen and I see them online every single day. So how are you able to take their answers and, and end with the joke? Uh, you know, I, I always use a football analogy. You know, it's like you could be in the pocket and be a great quarterback, a Hall of Fame championship quarterback. Uh, but I like to Michael Vick it, and, when, and, and that means being able to improvise and, you know, go outside the pocket and, and go off the dome. So, you know, uh, I just think it makes you the stronger comedian when you can do both. So I enjoy doing the material and staying in the pocket, but I also like scrambling and uh, going off the dome. Okay, yeah, that's where some of the, the most uh, clip moments from Michael Vick and the scrambling quarterbacks have come from and love to see it. Now, when it comes to impersonations, of course, you know, for doing the, the, the classics, the legends, but everything evolves. So we, we have a lot of folks doing the impersonations now. What's your process to, to embodying uh, somebody that you may impersonate or the character uh, getting into it? Because we see folks going head to head now digitally, but of course, it's the young person's game versus the legends. How do you take those two and combine them into these comedic moments? You know, I, that's one of those things where it's like, you know, people are into the verses. And, and I think that because of COVID, you know, people were trying to find ways to entertain themselves and entertain others and, and you know, stay somewhere relevant. Uh, so that became a thing. You know, again, I'm, I'm, I'm real old school, man. I don't, I don't like to oversaturate the market, which is one of the reasons why I admire and envy Dave Chappelle. Because he's like Bigfoot, man, on a lock this monster. He's, he's a legend. You know, he doesn't have to show himself a thousand times a day for you to remember him. But when you do see him, it's, it's a memorable moment. Absolutely. And do you hear that term often or do you accept the term legend when it comes to describing yourself? Because honestly, before there was social media, there was word of mouth. And you had to listen and see the, the comedy styles of Aerie Spears before you can just post, before you can send a quick text or, or, or post it online or on YouTube. You knew about Aerie Spears. Hey, listen, I think God has a funny sense of humor. So the minute you start taking yourself seriously or you start buying into that hype, uh, that's when life and God shows you how funny it can be. So, you know, terms like that, GOAT, legend, that's for Eddie Murphy, that's for Dave Chappelle, you know, that's for Chris Rock and guys like that. I'm just, you know, where I, wherever, wherever I fit into the puzzle, I, I, whatever. <laughs> now, that, that's what I love about your comedy style. You're always able to adapt and have that, that Michael Vick style type to it. I love that description. To me, that fits your comedy style perfectly. And ladies and gentlemen, you can see him live at the Bricktown Comedy Club all weekend long. Two shows on Friday and two shows on Saturday. And I'm going to pull up myself 